Hey, at the end of the video, Discord exclusive patch for you. Don't miss it. Ciao. This video is all about bass because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no treble. In this video, I want to give you guys a patcher clone of our bass. Our bass or Renaissance bass from Waves is one of the most legendary Waves plugins. It's been around for a while, but do you know that it's actually a simplified version of Max bass? I bet you didn't know that. Our bass is a bass announcer. It generates harmonic saturating the low frequencies, it filters them, and then it blends them with the original audio. Usually you use our bass on bass sounds for two main reasons. One, you want to give your low end a little bit of edge. The second reason is that your bass is playing very, very low notes in pitch, and you want to add some harmonics on top of it so it can translate well when your song is playing through smaller systems. Adding harmonics on top of the fundamental frequencies of your bass will give the listener the feeling that that the bass is there even though the system is not able to replicate the fundamental frequency. This is a very very common psychoacoustic trick. Your brain can recreate the fundamental frequency of a sound even though it's not listening to the actual fundamental frequency because it can focus on the harmonics and their mathematical relationship between each other and recreate inside your head that pitch. Let me show you a very quick example of that. Here's a C note. You hear a C. Let's try to completely get rid of the very first, let's say, four harmonics. What pitch do you hear? You still hear the same frequency? Yes, it just lacks some bass information. So you can consider this sound still a C note, but the fundamental of this new sound is actually not a C. So that's the whole concept about this psychoacoustic trick. Now's the time. I present you my clone of the R bass called the F bass. Wow, 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 so good. So as you can see, my patch F bass has more controls than the R bass and even more control than Max bass, but the concept is actually the same. With my patch, you can control how much distortion you want to give to the low frequencies, if you want to add even harmonics or odd harmonics or have a blend between the two. You can select the focus frequency of your filters, and then you have a separate volume slider for the bass that has been distorted, the half bass, the original bass, and the overall gain. You can also invert the phase, sometimes it might be useful, because sometimes the filter can actually cancel a little bit the fundamental too much, so you might want to try that out. And you can actually monitor what you're adding to the main original bass clicking the monitor button. One thing that I want to add is that my patch doesn't sound exactly the same as the R bass. It can sound exactly the same, but my settings can go very, very much more in depth because I want to give you the possibility to go extreme on the distortion, which the R bass doesn't allow you that much. So you have no limits. That's what I want to say. Let's hear my patch, R bass and Max bass in action so you get an idea of what they're doing. I prepared a very, very obvious example so you can actually hear and see very well. Apologize for that. Discord exclusive patch. What is it? What is it? What is it? Graphic EQ. What is it? It's a graphic EQ. This patch graphic EQ has 14 bells that you can move up and down. They have fixed frequencies, so you cannot move them around. You just have to create a graphic curve manually. And to be honest, this patch actually saved my butt in a few occasions because I felt like my Q curve or something, let's say a vocal, wasn't right and I couldn't figure out the frequency. With this patch, I actually managed to find that frequency in the whole mix that was annoying or was too quiet. And that's it, and it worked out very well. It's just two EQs. If you go on the back, you can see it's just 2 EQ and you have a little gain control in the corner so you can gain compensate, of course. And I really suggest you to try, especially on mixes that have something wrong where you cannot figure out what it is. With this type of curves, you can actually find it quickly for me. Uh, it, it works for me. I don't know if it's going to work for you, but I really get the job done with this. You can find, as usual, a link in the description for the F base and you can find the graphic EQ on my Discord server. So that's it. 
Tchau, tchau. No trouble.